up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 nissan rogue courtesy of younger nissan in frederick maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so this is the best selling vehicle in nissan's lineup it is a very good looking suv as well and for those reasons alone i wanted to check this one out yet again today so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from excel acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's go ahead jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2023 rogue first one being the s starting at twenty seven thousand three hundred and sixty dollars sv which is the one we are in today starting at twenty nine thousand fifty dollars midnight edition for thirty three two forty five sl for thirty three thousand seven hundred and ten dollars and the platinum for thirty seven thousand one hundred and forty dollars but that was all pricing for the front wheel drive if you wanted to go all wheel drive you can do that simply add fifteen hundred dollars then to any of those prices but but regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Rogue is actually going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine, putting out 201 horsepower at 5,600 RPM, 225 pound feet of torque coming in at 2,800 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a CVT with paddle shifters, which we will be testing out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 times is going to come in at approximately 8.1 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 30 in the city, 37 on the highway. That is impressive for the front wheel drive at least 28 in the city 35 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive still extremely impressive there especially for all-wheel drive but anyways taking regular unleaded fuel but so then before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the rogue i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually a circular dial located just behind the cup holders that's going to give you eco auto snow off-road and sport adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity and actually the all-wheel drive system engagement then as well so now that we've got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters and the acceleration here to the test at the same time let's see how quickly we can get this thing up to speed and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are actually going to react for us here all right so i just put it in sport driving mode i did want to also mention if you push a shifter all the way to the back it does give you a full manual shift mode as well where it displays what simulated gear you were in up on the gauges here so here's our straightaway still holding first nice there it is all right it's actually not bad the paddle shifters are quick i will say that but having said that it is a cvt so it's simulated shifting it's not really going through any gears or anything like that but actually decent acceleration there as well kind of surprised because it is a turbocharged three cylinder so you really don't know what to spec but i will say it's a decent acceleration and again the paddle shifters work very well so and you get incredible gas mileage at that so anyways that is pretty nice but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 11.7 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.5 inch ventilated rear discs as far as that 60 is your stopping distance goes it's actually going to come in at an incredible 114 feet and the braking feel feels like it it's it's a very nice kind of on the firmer side of things braking feel so it instantly brings you to a stop and that 114 foot number that sports it in good i'm telling you guys most suvs come in in the mid 120s if not 130 so 140 14 feet that's like that's like luxury suv good that's what volvo gives you that's what mercedes-benz gives you so very well done nissan on the braking i will say that then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine for me today absolutely no issues there i kind of like the uh sound of the engine when i hit the gas there but yeah it's it's a very serene cabin surprisingly so well done nissan there yet again as far as steering feel goes eh, it's on the loosey goosey side of things it's kind of what most suvs give you not all suvs because i will say the nissan murano has a very nice heavy steering feel to it i absolutely love that feel but this is 100% on the looser side of things so it's really your preference my personal preference is a heavier steering feel but this one is definitely on the looser side like i said but anyways and touching on visibility i can see 100 perfectly fine out the back so you are definitely not going to have any issues there that is perfectly fine and there actually is a head-up display for forward visibility if you were to go with that platinum trim level so essentially that's going to display your speed speed limit and safety information up on your windshield so again assisting with forward visibility there but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 
Nissan Rogue. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Nissan Rogue. Definitely, as always, looking very nice. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Chrome V-Motion front grille does come standard across the board. Well, with the exception of that Midnight Edition, I guess you could say. But LED headlights do come standard for every single trim level across the board. So no halogens on this thing. That's definitely a good thing. LED daytime running lights also coming standard. Automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beam also coming standard meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically then bump it back up to high beams led fog lights coming with the sl and platinum trim levels so we don't unfortunately have those today but you do have some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination you guys can see that just below the headlights there and there is some added silver accenting a matte silver accenting on the very bottom portion of that front lip then as well but that pretty much rounds out the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the rogue all right so but now since we are around to the side of this one when it comes to the roof rails they will only come on the sl and platinum trim levels so again can't show those to you guys today unfortunately chrome upper window trim does come standard across the board you do have rear privacy glass coming standard as well of course take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and if you go with the sv trim level and up they will also be heated with led integrated turn signals as well so that's pretty cool there is some chrome trim on the side skirts for the platinum trim level of course we don't have that today and actually i think the black looks pretty darn good with our black exterior to be honest there take a look at the wheel setup they will differ substantially amongst the trim levels of course 17 inch alloys coming with the s 18 inch aluminum alloys with the sv 18 inch gloss black aluminum alloys for the midnight edition and then 19 inch aluminum alloys coming with the sl and platinum trim levels but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of the rogue all the way to the top body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light you do have the rear window wiper of course as well to the sides led tail lights actually coming standard for every single trim level across the board gotta love that Got the rogue lettering spelled out horizontally. Definitely looks good as always. And there is trim level badging found on the tailgate. So if you wander onto a Nissan lot on maybe a Sunday, that's an easy way to tell what trim level you are looking at. And of course, just below it all, there is actually a single exhaust outlet tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the Rogue here, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a hands-free power tailgate if you go with the SL or Platinum trim levels. All other trims, it's actually going to be a manual tailgate, so simply just lift up just underneath of that license plate there, and that is going to obviously open up for you. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 36.8 cubic feet, decent amount of space there. However, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to a very impressive 72 cubic feet even. So that's definitely a good amount of space when you compare it to the competition there. Four cargo tie-down anchors back there. There is some in-floor storage, only if you go with the SL or Platinum trims, otherwise you're gonna find that spare tire just underneath of that cargo floor in case you were curious about that. There is some cargo lighting back there. There is a 12 volt power outlet available as well, grocery bag hooks, and there is a cargo cover available back there as well. And there's a little bit of indented storage then to the left and the right in the back. So definitely a good bit going on back there. But then make our way to the rear leg room that is going to come in at 38.5 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is rear ventilation coming standard rear charging ports as well rear window sunshades only if you go with the sl or platinum trim levels which is nice because the murano doesn't offer the rear window sunshade so i like that the rogue does there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard and heated rear seats are going to be available for the rear passengers then as well but then make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating for the s eight-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar for our sv trim level that we have here today still the cloth seating though four-way power adjustable passenger seat for the sl and obviously sl is going to add the leather that is what the l stands for and memory settings and heated front seats for that trim as well then if you were to go with the platinum trim level you're also going to get a quilted leather as well so overall when it comes to seat comfort this is probably one of the first things i noticed you really sink into these seats they are incredibly comfortable 
even with the cloth seats that we have today. So well done Nissan for that. Now take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the SL and platinum trims and also heated for those two trim levels then as well. And I like the flat bottom at that. That's pretty cool looking, but then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys this brand new key for 2023. That is the big change for the 2023 Nissan Rogue. So anyways, thought I titled the video like that. It's not a huge change obviously, but it is a pretty cool looking key. Definitely a different look to it, but if you wanted to remote start, go with the SV trim level end up. That's what we have today, of course, but all in all, it's all keyless entry with the push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that engine start button located directly in front of the shifter. And so once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center. And essentially, this is what your gauge cluster is going to look like for all trim levels, but the platinum. Platinum is going to give you a full 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. So everything's digital there however like i said that's not the one we have today obviously so you can of course adjust what is on that digital portion of the gauges through some steering wheel mounts controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there's a digital speedometer you can choose to display up there how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's tire pressure for each individual tire the list goes on so pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges up there then make our way to overall interior quality overhead sunglass holder does come standard on the rogue dual pane panoramic moonroof for the SL and platinum trim levels only. Overhead LED map lighting is going to be available. We do not have that with us here today, unfortunately. Dual zone climate control for the SV and midnight edition trim levels. However, tri-zone climate control then coming with the SL and platinum so the rear passengers can set their own temperatures in. Wireless phone charger coming with the platinum trim level only. And there is some hidden storage actually underneath the shifter and the cup holder. So I definitely wanted to mention that. That is pretty cool. So if you got something kind of secretive maybe you just bought some stuff at a store you could always just throw it underneath of there and uh less likely to be seen i guess but just in front of the shifter you do have a little bit of rubberized storage if you don't get the wireless phone charger that's what you're looking at right there two usb charging ports there's a 12 volt power outlet beside the shifter you got your dual cup holders and one of the things i really like about what nissan did surrounding the uh, shifter and cup holders here is they didn't leave it like a matte black or a matte gray they actually put a design to it which most manufacturers don't do i feel like so well done nissan for paying attention to the detail details there but within the center armrest you do have a decent amount of storage in there and overall honestly I kind of like the cloth trim on the doors and how it ties together with the cloth trim on the seats they just kind of brought the seat trim onto the doors and there's some contrast stitching of course as well and there's actually I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but there's a brown leather all the way to the top here and then you got the black leather just below that and then of course the glove box and all that fun stuff but I like the little accent brown color that we have on this one here today but let's now go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen eight inch color touchscreen display coming with all trim levels but the Platinum because the Platinum is going to give you a 9 inch color touchscreen display but Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay as well for the Platinum trim level however though you do get wireless Apple CarPlay not Android Auto but wireless Apple CarPlay only so that's there for you if you want it factory navigation system coming with the Platinum of course you can check out weather information and stock information up there as well no crypto yet unfortunately though and of course your radio information as well so when it comes to the sound systems you will get four speakers for the S six Six speakers for the SV Midnight and SL trims. That's what we have today, of course. And with the Platinum, you're going to get a Bose sound system with dual subwoofers. That sounds insane. We don't have that. We got the six speakers. So, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. That was actually a very impressive six speaker sound system. Plenty of bass. Clarity was 100% on point. It didn't sound like six speakers. It sounded more along the lines of an eight or a 10 speaker sound system, quite honestly. That was really good because I didn't expect it to be all that great because it wasn't a Bose system. But anyways, that was really good. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Rogue in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, of course, letting you know who or what is behind you. But you also get a surround view monitor if you were to go with the SL or platinum trim levels, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start with the best part, IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS, that pretty much says it all right there. 
Front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You don't always get that. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, rear parking sensors, reverse automatic braking, high beam assist, driver attention monitoring system. Then if you were to go with the SV trim level and up, you're going to get adaptive cruise control i love that feature and the platinum is going to add to that front rear and side sonar system so basically all around the thing so anyways when it comes to my final thoughts here excellent safety in this thing plenty of power actually as well for being a turbocharged three cylinder if you were worried about the power don't be because this is plenty of it i'm telling you great mpgs as well that's probably the strongest feature in the rogue is its incredible miles per gallon and you know what that's probably why nissan went with the turbocharged three cylinder because that is definitely what it is going to give you i love that the rear window sunshades are available in this as well because like i said i just got done checking out the murano and it didn't have it available there but the only room for improvement i can think of is the cvt it's kind of emotionless and that's kind of uh that's kind of a given i think everybody knows that at this point if they were to just drop a traditional automatic in this thing it would be so much better or better yet a dual clutch but I guess an automatic that would be perfectly fine in this thing. Maybe an eight speed to keep the uh, MPGs higher. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Rogue in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.